Hey, what's up everyone? How are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 14 of a Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. You'll have to bear with us today, we're working with some new audio equipment, so it's going to take us a few episodes to get this dialed in a bit. So last episode, we got a big haul of Blackstone. Let's get into our cohort, get some upgrades. So let's just check their rank. So I'm rank 11, 11, and 11. Brilliant. So, Leonardo's here. Um, we've only got the basic power axe, so let's see if we can get an upgrade and upgrade his axe. Cool, so this is something you use with your servo skull. Click on one of your fellow tech priests and it pimps them with a little bit of physical armor. So that's unlocked a snorkment slot, so we'll get rid of that axe, get that one in. Next, Jeremiah. So he's going to be our ranged and energy weapon expert. So, chest and gauntlets, what we already got. We've already got chest, trousers. We've got trousers, so we'll probably go for the gauntlets. Extra one energy damage. Yep, that would be quite useful. So that's used up the augment slot that gave us. And Minarius. What can we do with him? So what's that going to give us? Chest piece and some trousers. So that's plus 3 HP and 1 physical armor. Plus 2 HP, 3 in movement. What have we already got? 4 HP, 2 and 2. So we could go for the trousers, that will give us an extra meter of movement. Go for the chest piece, it's gonna take down one HP but give us an extra bit of physical armor. Um, I think we'll go for the trousers. Trying to get them up in the combat a little quicker. So those ones two and three, yep. So, because we've just done a swap for the trousers, we've actually still got an augment slot free. So should we populate one of these ones down here? So what we've we got? We've got Croatia that can heal a bit. And the cognition we can then draw. Wonderful pronunciation there. Yeah, I think we'll get that. So that's another little stabby stick. Stab enemies with it and it'll give you a cognition point. Which is a bit of a result really. Now the next upgrade I think on all these guys is about 350. Yep. Which you can afford, but it's not going to leave us much blackstone for troop deployment. So we're going to save that. Let's see what we got. That's a gamma pistol mission. That this is for us, Dorka. That's a new one. Level 2 Vanguard. And another tech priest. We might have to go for that. Let's have a quick look. Yeah. I think we're going to do this one. Get ourselves another tech priest. And a Vanguard leveling up to level 2 would be brilliant. So what we're going to be facing, we've got Destroyers, Praetorians, Death Marks, Canoptex, and Warriors. Go with the trusty deployment at the moment. Okay, so I've got to destroy a statue of Agrilek. Let's see where we got to go. Diamond there, optional encounter, second diamond. Okay, so this could be quite a quick one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, he's 
definitely don't want the red one. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond, which is filled with cognition. We can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards within. Yeah. A container of some sort that seemingly has raw binary seething within. Clearly it is of Xenos origin. Sparks of data leak through the aid sealant used to contain the treasure within. It's not exactly treasure. It's got some HP that we didn't need. A ho hum. Kill all enemies. Okay. Let's spin it around a bit. So we've got destroy there. Victorian. Warrior. Victorian. Another warrior there. Some cognition back here. Scan point there. Let's spin it around. Let's, ooh, no. Let's go there. Okay, so we don't need to go over this area whatsoever. If we get at least one of our guys heading towards the terminal, I think the other two will just hunker down and start taking some of these guys out. Yeah, Praetorian will probably jump along to whoever's going to make the push. So, who should we have that be? Minaris. He's got the extra movement on him, hasn't he? So let's stick him that way. These guys might be in a bit of cover. I don't know how high these walls are. Looks like not very high. Alright, Minara is straight in with the extra movement. Can get all the way to the terminal in one hit. That is brilliant. Now, we can use our new little stabby stick on this, I think. Yep, there we go. We get cognition from the terminals before you blow them up. But not after. That do seven damage. That's brilliant. So you can collect all cognition from one source. Where's on? It's got two. There we go. Cool, we'll leave him there, we won't use any more cognition moving him just now. Taking a bit of a pound in. There's three of them down here, he's gonna get quite sandwiched. But we've gotta do it. Can at least pop a bubble up with him, so he's going to absorb a bit of damage. Okay, so if we get in here, we've got diagonal melee contact with the enemy, and we've also got a diagonal with a cognition terminal. We'll use a reducer to save one. Up. We can get some more cognition. Where is there more? There's one there, is that it? Okay. I'd quite like to push up towards that warrior, but because this one's surrounded, that Praetorian might jump away, but we've still got this warrior down here as well. I think we're just going to move down this direction. Now we could use this and get a shot on this guy. I've only got one left. I don't think there's any more on the board to collect. And he's getting low health. So let's just play it safe. Kind of sucks we can't get into the bubble there, but 
prefer to heal him up and have him safe. He's still getting shot off of that as well. Paid. Probably use that one. Okay, so let's think about this. Let's can use that. Let's make that three, and I think we'll use Sanctus Canister. You should be putting out a good bit of damage on that now. Got that machine spirit as well. Nine, that's brilliant. Yeah. I believe it up, didn't we? So there's no need to hang around there anymore. They're probably going to jump away anyway, so let's start moving them back. Top him up a bit. Poke him out of the way, we should be able to shoot him. Because this is free. God, didn't do much. No, I didn't do anything, did it? Damage all absorbed. Let's tuck him in just a little bit more so he's out of the way of this one. chance of doing damage to this guy. Um, let's move him in there. Then we can either... Well, in fact, we're going to use the servo skull anyway to get some cognition. We can either use it on the axe to kill him now. I think I'll just wait for the opportunity. I'll save that cognition. Crap, I'll take that plan out windows, he can't move now. That sucks to be that guy right now. Damn. in. I need to back our man up down here. So I've got the servo skull for this guy. I can get two at once. I'd like to have a pop at this one. But it's all going off down here a bit. Um, is that going to block that way off? Yeah, you can't go that way. So let's use another one. But we can get one back. Not a 
Must be a damage there. Okay, let's move him round. Get that cognition. Caesar, he's got this. Avoid all opportunity attacks. That's brilliant. Get that one out of the way. Get a little bit better now. Pop him there because this guy's on his way down. So we won't leave ourselves out in the open. Patoran can always jump over and get us, I guess. Um, do we know what health that Patoran's on? No. Let's just get this one out of the way. We know we can kill him. Now we do need to start making our way up towards this guy. Someone's going to leave him there, I think. Heal him up a bit. I don't think anyone needs that yet. Oh, he does. Oh yeah, he's got the acid glow. I'm glad I checked that now. Well, he didn't fly away. It's a surprise. Vanguard in here. Because we're at one. So if we can try and get these guys knocked out this round, that's going to be really good going in towards the next one. Got a nice low awakening level. We have to use all our CP to get into this combat here. Okay, I did nine damage. He's going to do a bit more when he tries to walk away. Oh, let's leave him there. Brilliant. Good result there. Machine spirit on the one that's already dead, really, do I? One of his. Yeah, here we go. His servo skull deals one damage. Let's get our body clear. Don't want reanimation. I can use my scanner to get back cognition. Okay, I think that's his turn done now. In. 
so everything's going to have to charge up ridiculously. Thin little path. So I'll get him going around for some flanking sniping. He hasn't moved the whole time. Oh, I bet it can't. So he's like four squares wide, isn't he? He can't move down towards us. I wonder why he hasn't moved away, though. This isn't going to be a hit from there. That's a ridiculously long way round. Let's start bringing them around this way. I probably would have been able to possibly hit with a flamer. I think we'll just play it safe. Let's top him up. A few extra CP here. They can't move very fast, so I don't want them blocking the route. Let's leave them there. Let's get still not quite far enough. I'm not tucking to them. No. Just put him there. So now we got. Now we've got a servo skull. Let's push him forward a bit. For a penny and for a pound. Oh, I wonder if I can poke him back. No. Okay, let's move him out of the way. Let someone else get a shot in. Okay, I've got a servo scout. Have we got any more cognition anywhere? Be good to get this bubble up. And hopefully anyone else that pushes up that far can get into it. Where is it? He's not going to be able to move afterwards. Oh, I do it. Oh, I've used my reducer, I've sort of got it really. Yeah, can't really do much now. I have to leave him there. So it was two turns still. Yeah, let's see if we can get him down a little bit. not cool. I've got to push him up ready, haven't I? As far as he's going to get. No point doing anything with him. Really got to get this body gone, so it's going to reanimate next round. I'm just going to 
gonna tuck him out of the way. Let one of these guys come up. Now we've got reduced, we can get one cognition point. It's not gonna help us that much though still. Not this round, then. this character anyway. So I think that's going to do no damage. We haven't got to reduce that. Let's pave the way for Minarius to come up through. He's only on five. Look at his gut. And whacked him. What an idiot. Pay attention. Uh, right, stab him. When we kill him, I think that's this room done. A statue group in a chamber ahead depicts several nameless Necron lords, all wielding a variety of weapons and implements of authority. Though not as dramatic as the target statue of Agrilek, it certainly represents the Necron leader's habit of self-aggrandizement. Disregard. Bypass the chamber entirely. The Necrons could have protected it with traps. Mm, sure could have. Describe. Make a visual record of the statues. They may grant valuable intelligence on the Necrons of the tomb complex. Destroy. Destroy the statues. That is the objective of the mission after all. Yeah, would like to. I'm a bit worried of booby traps. Don't want to disregard. That's a bit wimpy. Let's make a visual record and we can at least possibly get something out of this. Cohort takes pit captures of the statues. Though it is impossible to tell whether any of the figures depicted are interred on Silver Tenebris, the Adeptus Mechanicus can surely make use of rare visual reference for various Necron weapons and implements. So we've got something out of that, a little bit of Blackstone, a little bit of knowledge. Let's push on. The cohort comes across a lone Skatari. The soldier has a badly wounded arm and is serving her unit as a courier since she can no longer use a weapon. She explains she is infantry operator 3rd class Epsilon, 5th binary cohort, Manipal Theta, and that she must take a slate of forward combat observances to the Skatari command post near the entrance. Good girl. Examine. Interrogate the trooper on her mission and credentials. It is impossible to be too careful when dealing with potential Xenos spies. Assist. Escort the trooper through the chambers the cohort has just passed through. There is still a high likelihood of Necron presence there. Admonish. Administer a brief lecture on the trooper's failings in preserving her corporeal form adequately, since it is a property of the Omnisite and must be maintained as such. I think that's a little harsh, considering the fact that she's still trying to crack on some duties even though she can't hold a gun. Um, so no, 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 no to that. No to that as well. I don't want to interrogate her. She's doing good. Let's, let's assist her. Let's give her a hand. There we go. The trooper is grateful for the assistance, and her spirits are buoyed up to hear of the impending destruction of the statue of Agrilek. The deviation from the mission plan takes time, but provides a cohort with an assurance that the statue toppling will indeed be of great benefit to Skatari morale. Cool. Blackstone. Bit of initiative, but that's pretty good. Let's keep pushing towards this this last engagement. A statue of Lord Acrolec dominates this chamber. It is smaller than the cohort's objective, but clearly such an icon of Xenos heresy cannot be left standing intact. Denigrate. Deface the statue by scouring the features from its stylized face with the company in rights of scorn and retribution. Cripple. Cut down the statue at the ankles. Or shatter. Blow up the statue. Blown up be fun, but I think that's going to be a bit noisy. Denigrate. Also could be fun, but I don't think it's going to get us very far. 
think crippling could be a good one. Cutting them down at the ankles, it defaces them really nicely, but without fully blowing them to pieces. Cool. Cohort uses blades and cutting tools to saw through the statue's legs until it topples like a felled tree. The statue cracks open, revealing a cache of tech components that shatter across the chamber floor. Perhaps the statue was some form of ornate cog cogitator. Whatever its purpose, the remains of its innards are the cohorts to scavenge. So that axe only deals 3 to 5, but it doesn't cost a cognition point to use it. That could be handy at some point in a build. Let's get in here. Okay, so we've got lots of enemies up here. Scan terminal, scan terminal. We've got to scan or destroy, so we've got to get to both of them. So I don't think I'm going to push these guys up all the way to the front line. Nip them back just a little bit in case they're going to be in range of these guys. Um, oh, Vanguard's dead. That's a crapper. The servitors can't move very fast, so we'll drop them in in a, in a round or two when our tech priests can move forward a bit. A long shot. I pushed forward pretty hard there. Let's see if I can get to this guy, get the bubble up. Can you shoot him? some shielding on him. Alright, just gonna keep him there with the bubble up. Is there a single cognition to get? No. So let's go for one of them. I think we're just gonna keep him there. So this guy's in melee combat. So we don't have much choice with him. Also, get a cognition. Yeah, I think we'll just keep him there. He's already down a bit of health. Should we heal? Yeah, let's heal. We've got enough cognition at the moment. There we go. That's a bit better. I wonder if we can... No, definitely out of range. Hopefully we should be, yep, protected by the bubble. Get one back off of them. I think we're going to get him with some fire as well. So we'll use this. Make it nice and cheap. I know it said it's only going to do naught to 2 damage, but we're going to get the burn damage over time for a few rounds, so that's pretty good. Okay, we'll save that for the next round as well, because that's going to click both of them. We only need one. get one of them in for now. There 
it really lasted long. Yeah, stripped him of some good armor, and I dealt good hefty bit of damage there. Now I can get onto your cognition. I'm not going to waste one. Um, he can actually get out of combat there as well. I wonder if this will reach both of these two. How can it do one and not the other? There we go. We've got loads of cognition, so let's go our canister on as well. Buff that damage. Make sure we definitely got both of them in. Yeah, we'll hold there. Oh, that's nice being able to take that Praetorian out pretty early on. So we've got the stabby stick with this guy. We use that to get him out of the way so we've got no reanimation to worry about there. First idea, we'll shoot him. I think that was a good choice. Okay, so we still got a good bit of cognition left here. Let's get him going around to this guy. Give him something to think about. One in. Hey, nice. Burn damage finished him off. That's brilliant. Now I think we'll save our cognition. Right, who's actually still alive here? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. do is we start getting this guy coming up towards this first scan terminal. Didn't think about that. Plonk up. Can I heal? Yeah, let's get a quick heal on. Straight up. It's already on free. We don't want to dilly dally too much. Right, let's put some more mortals in. Just what we wanted. Can I get both of them in? You sure can. Brilliant.
Let's push right into him for the melee combat. Do one damage. I think we're going to get that guy out. He's reanimating in one round, which I think will probably be the end of this one. See so how to go. Um, that's probably not worth it. He's going to hit us again. We'll do it after he's hit us again. Can't move away. No opportunity. distracted with this guy. We need to um, push up towards this other terminal really. So let's make a big long one there. That's what we've got to do now. Kill all enemies. Escape. Okay, that's cool. I don't think we've had one of them as playthrough yet. So he can push all the way. We could have had to go about terminal, but we only had the one cognition. I want to use it to get in there. Let's cleanse him. So now we've just got to get all our tech priests in. Good job, Batman. Okay, you can do it healing, really. Going through it, this guy. Take a hit. He hasn't got no ranged weapon. Um, we'll delay him a turn, see if this man can help out. I'll break the overwatch. Hopefully, he won't go into position where he's looking at him still. That's going to be enough. Right. Hit a target. 3 HP. I've only got one CP left. Let's think about this. Let's cleanse him, but it doesn't cost anything. Just heal himself, I think. Um, no, let's put the bubble up. Protect these guys from any more attacks. Yeah. Just heal.
there's no point getting any more CPs. We haven't got anything we can heal with. So let's just get him into the escape zone. We're going to lose a bit of Blackstone here, but nothing could have really done about that. I think we could have healed. Did we use our healing cans? Cool. I can't remember. We may or may not have had that still. The monumental statue of Agrilek is bracketed with demolition charges. When they detonate, the statue topples, shattering on the floor of the chamber just as the Necron's grip on Silver Tenebris will surely break under pressure from the Adeptus Mechanicus. Tell him Faustinius. Yeah, lost a little bit there. Nothing we could have done really. I think we're still gonna get a get an alright little haul out of that. I think this one gives us another tech priest, was it? Yep, another tech priest, level two vanguard. They're pretty cool. I've only got an extra three on our awakening, so that wasn't too bad. Oh, Melob sector located. The first forays into this tomb reveal a sight equally magnificent and as dismaying. The tomb is a vast alien data loom, its structure covered in columns of Xenos data as if its very substance were composed of knowledge. Some parts of the tomb are more organized, like libraries of shimmer and data crystal. Others are lightless chasms where enormous pillars move constantly, like the elements of a gargantuan machine endlessly searching and sorting. Everywhere the air hums with the sheer volume of information seeping from every surface. This place is undoubtedly a mine of data. A tech priest can only look on it with lust as well as trepidation. Cool. Sexy library. So there we go, we've got 1060 blackstone, that's not bad. We also unlocked ourselves another tech priest. Let's have a little sneaky look at him. There we go. Ori Oriocus. Oriocus. What a jolly fellow. So we get to get a few upgrades on him next episode. And we've got a level 2 vanguard here. Yes, if you see, we've now got the ability for Skitari to perform a second attack. So every couple of turns he's going to be able to make two attacks. Which is brilliant. So we're going to wrap it up there guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. In the meantime, stay tuned for the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day and take care. Bye bye.